Hi there, everyone. It's Christoph Chu, and I'm here in Bel Air Crest at a brand new listing we just listed at uh, 2521 Cardigan Court. It's a very, very quiet and serene cul-de-sac, so it's really nice and quiet. And we're here in the uh, very popular gated community of Bel Air Crest. Many of you have seen um, my listings here in Bel Air Crest previously, but this just hit the market today on the MLS, and let me do, give you a little virtual showing of the property. It's wonderful uh, exterior gray stone. Um, I don't know the name of the stone, but it's quite nice. And you have some steps coming up to the front, and it really has a front porch. Very few houses actually have a porch, but like the old school kind of porch, right? Where you can sit and relax and enjoy your coffee in the morning or read the paper and say hello to your neighbors. So you can sit here, look out, and enjoy the trees and the blue skies. So the house has a formal entrance, which is quite nice. As you'll see, this creme marfil marble throughout the whole property, but you walk right in to the formal entryway. That's the staircase going up. And on this side, we have the formal living room. Beautiful living room, has coffered ceilings, nice recessed lights. Again, the creme marfil marble floors. Wonderful wood-burning gas fireplace with the black uh, absolute granite trim. A nice traditional look. Big, big picture window, Pella window with um, shutters and it opens to the formal dining room. So the formal dining room is open, but it's formal. Nice big room. The closet behind could be a great wine uh, cellar. So if you like wine, that'd be a great spot to uh, store your wine collection. Now the big window, and you can see the open flow between the two rooms. And then here we are back at the entrance. And it's, it's, it is a step down living room. It's one step coming down. This is raised and then one step going down on this side. Over here we have the wet bar area and we have a lovely powder room. The cabinetry was all done about uh, 2009, 2010. All creme marfil marble counters, except for the kitchen, which is uh, Corian, but it's really nicely done. And then here we walk into the family room. Really, really nice family room. And what I love best is it opens to the outside space, which is a lovely outdoor garden. But you have your sitting area here, another wood-burning gas fireplace, nice um, absolute granite trim, bookshelves, little um, office desk area there. That's the breakfast room, breakfast area. And then over here is the wet bar that I showed you earlier. But I don't know if you can hear it, but come outside, look how quiet. It's so peaceful. You've got nothing but canyon behind you, so if no neighbors, it's completely, completely private in the back. Wonderful fountain. Lots of agapanthus, so these are all gonna be blooming soon. Hydrangea flowers. Wonderful orange tree, the fountain. Lemon trees. Lounging area. This is all slate uh, stone flooring, so it's very nice. We have a built-in barbecue over there and a nice outdoor dining area with the bougainvillea. So it's really nice to be able to be out here in the sun and enjoy the peace and serenity of no neighbors in the lovely canyon. And then coming back, this is the view back into the family room. So this is what I showed you earlier, the kind of main lounge family room area, the wet bar, and then the desk area right here. And it leads you right into the kitchen. Nice big breakfast area. You have a large breakfast counter and it's a really spacious kitchen. But let's look from here again. So from here, when you sit at the breakfast table in the morning, overlooking the family room, you have a nice view of the garden, the bougainvillea, and there is your built-in barbecue. So here's the view from this side of the garden and the back of the house. All the trees are in bloom, it's springtime. So really, really nice kitchen. Again, it's really large, tremendous cabinet space. And I have to say, I love these wonderful brushed nickel um, hardware knobs. Uh, Self-closing doors. The counters are all Corian, but it looks like the Crema Marfil marble. So very, very easy maintenance um, with these kind of counters. They're all stainless steel appliances. We have a Bosch dishwasher, a Thermador range, stainless steel vent tops. 
And then we have a Thermador double oven and a nice large Sub-Zero. Uh, there is a nice walk-in pantry and this is the butler's pantry. So for parties, you can set up a buffet and uh, that's the elevator there, which goes to all three floors. So wine room, this is the, the um, dining area again. So if you have a party, you can have dining here. You can set up a buffet here in the um, butler's pantry or just use it for storage. But here's the other side view of the kitchen. Okay, now let's go upstairs. So upstairs we have um, three bedrooms, one of which was converted to a, uh, an office. A really large coat closet here, a really good size, and the marble floors do continue in that closet. Uh, the stairs are made of wood with this very expensive, lavish English carpet that's very uh, soft. A nice little niche here for your art, and another niche up there for uh, porcelains or statuary, whatever you like. And we come up here to a nice little uh, kind of waiting area. And then here through these double doors is the master suite. Again, nice large bedroom. It's facing the front of the house. Big corner window, coffered ceilings once again. Corner window with nice natural light. Big room, and then a really lovely bathroom. Uh, bathroom was done also about 10 years ago. Got a sink over on this side. Nice sunken tub over here. Walk-in shower with the little sitting area and yet another sink over here. And again, beautiful cabinets with the same, or a little, not same, but similar hardware, but very, very nice. So here's the overlook of the bathroom. Big walk-in closet, so you've got room for all your clothes. But here's the full bathroom. Oh yeah, over there is the toilet area and bidet. Okay, so back to the master bedroom. Here we go. And then uh, through this hallway, we have two additional bedrooms. Another large storage area here and a nice big shelf. This bedroom was converted to an office. Uh, so it's really great for those of us working at home. You got nice built-in bookshelves, built-in file cabinets, desk with the window overlooking the garden which is quite nice, isn't that pretty? And more storage and more bookshelves over here. And that's your closet. So if you needed this as your third upstairs bedroom, you just simply take out the, the bookshelves and the um, desks, and then you have a full nice bedroom. And over here we have uh, the other bedroom. So this is our third bedroom upstairs. Great for guests. And once again, with the lovely views of the garden, Oh, and the Bougainvillea, they're all in bloom, it's so pretty. And um, once again, nice wall walk-in closet. There is uh, one bathroom here shared for these two bedrooms. It's not Jack and Jill, it's separate here, but once again, this has double sinks. It's the same Crema Marfil marble, beautiful Kohler sinks and nice gold and brushed nickel hardware. We have a separate bathtub over here. So that's the upstairs, and then we do have our elevator here, which goes from this floor all the way down to the first floor and the second floor. And this is the stairwell from up here with a nice skylight, so it gives you lots of natural light. So once again, a uh, full bathroom here, guest bedroom here, that's bedroom number three, guest bedroom number two, which is currently the office, and then the principal bedroom over here. Now we're going to go down to the main level, or lower level, I should say. Um, brass hardware on the stairwell, which is nice. And uh, most of these canyon homes in Bella Crest are tri-level. And uh, the downstairs was just redone. They put in all new dowel tile um, oak looking floors. So if you look, they look like oak wood. They're quite beautiful. This was just finished a week ago, uh, but they're actually tile. So really easy to use and clean. This is the downstairs family room, which is a nice extra room. Uh, great spot to watch TV. We have built-in bookshelves 
over here. There used to be a pool table in here, so you could put one back if you like to play pool. But it's a nice, good size room. And uh, you can see it's kind of got a dedicated sitting area here for the television over on this side. And then we have a laundry room here to the right. Uh, we have a nice large closet there, direct access to the garage which is a really big garage. Let's get the light on, here we go. It's a two car there, and you can put two cars here, or one, and lots and lots of storage. And that's the elevator from the garage to go upstairs. Built-in vacuum cleaners you can see, but nice, spacious, spacious garage. So it's really double the size of your standard garage. And then over here we have the downstairs guest suite, which is the fourth bedroom. So you come in, you have a nice, Big bedroom with a picture window overlooking Cardigan Court. Space for a four-poster bed. Put a nice dresser or armoire over there. Again, these beautiful tile floors. I have to say that when we redo our kitchen, we're gonna do tile floors like this that look like wood. I think it's a really nice look. And here's the view outside. And then here's the other side view of this bedroom. Really nice, large walk-in closet. So if you have guests, they can, you can have it fixed out the way you want. And then a really lovely guest bathroom. All the guest bathrooms look the same. Same crema marfil, same cabinetry, and all in excellent, excellent move-in condition. Because again, this was remodeled about eight, nine years ago. So let's go back upstairs and give you the final view before I sign off. So there we go. So that's our final little view. Hope you enjoyed this little tour of 2521 Cardigan Court here in Bel Air Crest. Just came on the market today for $2,599. It's about 3,900 square feet, and the lot is over 8,600 square feet. So if you want to live in Bel Air with 24-hour guard gates and guards, give me a call, 310-777-6342. Thanks for watching.